Hello everybody, Brian Tulsa here. What are you doing today? Today I am with my daughter, Audrey, there she is, and we are going to Tallgrass Prairie Preserve to see some bison. Uh, so I promised that we would do a little bit of travel, but of course um, we can't be around people because of the virus. Well, in this case, we don't even have to get out of the car. Uh, we're gonna go to Tallgrass Prairie. They have a, a drive uh, through their preserve where we should be able to see bison. Um, they are commonly called buffalo, but they are not buffalo, even though uh, they are on the football helmets for the Buffalo Bills. They are not buffalo. They are American bison. So we're going to go see some American bison. I really wanted to take the dog, but the rules specifically say no dogs. So unfortunately, Mila can't come with us, but um, it's still going to be fun. It's about an hour and 45 minutes from the house. Uh, it, uh, so it's a little bit of a drive, uh, but not too far. So come along with us and let's go see some bison. on the Joseph Williams Tallgrass Prairie Nature Preserve. Yeah. There they are. Look at that herd. Look at these guys. How well can I zoom in? There they are. We saw them like less than a minute after after entering the preserve and there they are a whole herd of bison I wonder if we'll see more home of the Christina Adams bison herd established 1993 all right driving on other than that Jeep right there, we are the only ones on this road.
stopping here and trying to get some close-ups of this uh, little herd over here. Let's try that. Let's do it. Looks like a little family pod there with uh, some calves. Okay, that's what we came for. Some reasonably close up uh, pictures of some bison, and there was even a family pod there with some calves. Alright, we've got this placard here for the Nature Conservancy. And just look at that view. That is amazing. And cows. One of the rules is don't get out of your car, which... Uh, Especially when you're near the bison. Yeah. I admit I did get out of my car a couple of times, but in some areas designated for that. But, Just hand um, they're going out. Yeah. Not everybody is following that rule. No fences. Just... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. He is just facing right toward us. That's amazing. Never thought we would get this close. Yeah. Look at that. They're just grazing. Chapman Bernard Ranch. And we go this way. We have some walking trails back here. Not gonna do that today. We might come back though. We are at the Tallgrass Prairie Reserve Visitor Center and we're gonna swing in there even though they're closed, uh, but we're gonna at least check it from the outside. Change of seasons by TBD Kelsey, donated by William and Jaffa Kerr, November 2009. 20th anniversary of Tall Grass Prairie Preserve. Alright. Very nice. Well, it's too bad the visitor center is closed. I would love to get a souvenir or something. Uh, spend some money here and get something to take with me. But, uh, but we did it. Uh, it's been lovely. The views are breathtaking. Uh, we saw a lot of bison. and We saw bison within the first minute of entering the preserve. Uh, we saw some very close up, uh, saw some families, some herds, uh, and it's just really amazing what they do here. Um, we will be back. Uh, I think we should take the walking trails at some point, uh, but not today. I think we have done uh, all we would like to do today um, to get back home, maybe have uh, some food, uh, and I just want to spend some time with my daughter, but uh, this was fun. Uh, thanks everyone for coming with me. See, I told you we would do some travel in the near future, so here we are. And uh, most of it was just entirely in the car. I didn't have to have contact with any person. In fact, this is as close as I've been to any other human being on this whole journey. That's all for now. I will see everyone tomorrow.